biggest misconception in my field that I come across a lot um, is that the mantle isn't like a completely solid rock. Yeah, it moves plastically, uh, but even cooler, people think that it might be red because of the diagrams, but it's actually probably closer to green because of all the olivine and peridotite. So I work in volcanology, and the one thing that really drives me crazy is when newspapers or any sort of media journalists, at least the badly trained ones, say that volcanoes make smoke. Um, so, as we know as volcanologists, we don't get smoke from volcanoes unless they're actually burning something. It's usually just gas and ashes being blown into the sky, so it's not smoke. I believe one of the biggest ones is people assuming that geology isn't a real science. Um, where, whereas I believe that geology, in fact, integrates all sciences so well that you can't say that it's not real. In fact, it's one of the most pure ones bringing in all of them together, physics, chemistry, maths, everything. So I believe that's one of the biggest misconceptions we have. Yeah, the biggest misconception to me when I was starting out in uh, car carbon in forests was understanding that different types of ecosystems store carbon really differently and thinking about above and below ground carbon storages as both being really important and trying to understand which ecosystems do that the best um, has been really new to me and I've been excited to learn about that here. The biggest misconceptions in my field is that air quality doesn't lead to climate change.